Okay, what's up everybody? Welcome to another video. So we got something a little different and special for you guys today. Uh, we are down here in Melbourne area of Florida, Brevard County. Uh, more specifically, we're in Melbourne Beach. We've been staying for a number of weeks. Uh, we're getting ready to go back home, but I was doing a little bit of research on the area and looking up treasure and stuff that people have found along the coast. So I started doing a little research online and found that this area has an extremely rich history of shipwrecks and boats carrying mass amounts of treasure actually getting caught in hurricanes right off the coast out there, literally right off the coast of Melbourne Beach. And the remains of those ships along with treasure, the people on the boats, and just the wreckage from the ships washing ashore, and then later in history, people discovering those remains. And so it's no surprise that so many people have found literal buried treasure on the shores of Florida. All this got us so excited to search for some treasure of our own. So this video will be our very first time metal detecting the treasure coast of Florida. And this is what we found. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Woo! Look at this, another beautiful day to live the dream. So today, we are gonna make our official first try at seeing if we can find some stuff metal detecting here in Florida. We are in Melbourne Beach, and as you guys know from the beginning of this video, there has been some serious claims or finds here along the coast from Cape Canaveral to Sebastian Inlet and let's see if we're lucky enough to find something so yesterday I went like last night on an attempt to try out my metal detector and I'm pretty sure the batteries were dead I don't know these batteries have been sitting around for a long time I kept getting just beeps and then nothing there and then it was just like one beep I don't know really exactly what was going on but I'm gonna put in some brand new batteries today and then we're gonna go down to the beach here and we're gonna see if we can find something Okay, we should be good to go. Let's just test this thing out. So, I'm gonna be using a white Prism 3, and then just this scooper. I probably have had this metal detector for 15 years, and the same scoop that I bought with it. So, let's give it a little test in the yard here before we hit the beach. See if there's anything, because there's probably some. Some kind of metal here. Beep. 
Don't want to get too crazy here in the yard, but... Let me get the scoop. So I just really am, am testing it out right now because the main mission is the beach. And we're going to try and see if we can find some of this Spanish gold down there. But it was acting up so much yesterday that I decided to test it in the yard right here first. All right, there it is. So that's what was coming up. So it's a bottle cap from who knows how long ago. It's one of those pop tops from like a beer can. Could be, you know, from the 80s, I don't know. So, first find of the day, a yard find. You know what, it would actually be pretty cool to just do a whole detection thing on just this whole property because it's built in the 60s, I believe. I could be wrong about that, but this has uh, been here for a while and you never know what kind of stuff somebody might have dropped in the backyard. So I don't want to be digging up the whole yard, but it would be cool to see people find some of their coolest finds just on their own property. But to the beach, I guess. All right, since I'm here, I found something else. So thinking about digging it. Let's just be right right around here. Somewhere in here. I think it might be in here. Maybe. There it is. So I found a coin and a little piece of plastic. So this is actually turning into a treasure hunt right here in the in the in the the yard. We don't want to waste too much time on this though. We got beaches to scour. But let me just put this down for a second. <laughs> Gotta rinse this off, I guess. Can't really see it very well. It's definitely like a penny that's just unreadable, basically. Can't see the date, but yeah, I don't know. A penny straight from the yard. Okay, and off we go on the mission. Sammy J will be joining us on our treasure hunt. Yeah. What do you think we're going to find? Uh, lots of change. No. No? Because it's not a public beach like where we usually go. So there won't be as much change. You don't think? Maybe. I'll put sunblock on my face though. As you should. Dude, this guy stays on it.
so they keep that fresh like raking it and stuff mm -hmm. all right this is the beach here that we're going to detect let's go find some treasures and we have one detector so we'll switch on and off but that usually works for us and makes it easier for this grew more since we've been here, though, dude. I didn't have to stand there and be like, it's or it's just like weighting down because it's. wall technique we're using now. Alright, I think we got something. Maybe a five cent piece. Hey, watch out. Got it. Yep. Really? You should have. You got it? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> bottle cap. Alright. Better than nothing. Cool. Botsy cap. A botsy cap. Keep it going. I think over here might be a good spot. Because of the restaurant. It's like a bar, but they do have a rest. They have like multiple levels there. See? And surfboards in the sand, which is kind of cool. Here we go. Here. It's over on here somewhere. Alright. Did you get it? Maybe. It's probably a penny, I think that's what it said on there. Penny to penny. There it is. Oh. I think it's still in the scoopy. Is it a penny? I can't see what it is. Yes, no. Let me see. No, yeah. it's a dime. A dime? Yeah. Cool. Another coin. Another, another dreamer? Yeah. Saying a quarter. Where are we going? Oh. Fill this hole in again. Around that area, right? In here? Yeah. I don't know how to do it. has to be down there deeper, I guess. It's on the side. Pinpoint it. Yeah, it was a quarter, I think. Yeah, that's what it said. That's what it said? That's 
And that's what it is. That's what it is. I think. Yep, quarter. Quarter. You covered it. Look at this guy. The way he walks is so, so legendary. This has been a real mission to try to find anything. So let's see what we got here at the beach access. This is public beach access. Found something? Maybe. Probably not. Possibly in here. That's what, what it do? was. Yeah. That's what it was. Fishing weight. Ooh. That's kind of cool. Yeah. That's super cool. Better than nothing, I guess, right? Should we try the other entrance? Yeah. Three poundy? Is no. Nice? Three ouncy. Let's try around around here though, because you're right. You were right about it being like a where people go. Yeah, because like the private beaches, it's not like they even use their beach. They just like the like the where people have their houses. Yeah, they never go down there. All right, first session. This is what we got: fishing weight. Beer tap that came from the house. Newer age beer tap. This is an older one. Newer one. Quarter dime penny. So far. So do we go back? We'll see. Supposedly this guy found a Spanish gold ring with diamonds and what else? Amethyst on it? Amethyst and other jewels. So. And someone else found spanish coins nearby where we where we're at so the evidence is mounting for the treasure fleet we're out here down here on florida's treasure coast um so as you can see from this mural it's juan ponce de leon and the spanish influence on florida but uh basically look at this actually so we're going to be doing some metal detecting here today to try and find some pirate treasure. But here is a statue dedicated to Juan Ponce de Leon, who was an ex Spanish explorer. And he's best known, I guess, for being the governor of Puerto Rico, maybe. The story goes after him, his reign or his exploration, I'm just going to read off of this because it's so crazy. In 1715, the treasure fleet was a fleet of Spanish ships loaded heavily with treasures headed to Spain. On the evening of July 30th, 1715, seven days after departing from Havana, Cuba, 11 of the 12 ships were lost in a fierce hurricane near this spot in Vera Beach. We're not in Vera Beach yet, but we're heading that way right now. Basically, 
since this happened, there has been treasure and wreckage from the ships. I think they pulled a, a cannon from one of the boats out of the water, and there's been uh, Spanish gold coins, silver coins, jewels. Uh, some guy actually found uh, a gold ring encrusted with diamonds and amethyst um, while metal detecting the shores of Vera Beach where we're headed. And I'm gonna show that video because it's so interesting. And I think it's fair use to use. With his Detector Pro Headhunter Pulse Induction Metal Detector, Warren Dennison knows the sound of buried treasure. Recently, one lump of metal near Vero Beach made an especially loud tone in his headphones. And I kind of ran my thumb over it, and all of a sudden I saw that glint of yellow, and I kind of, I know I guessed. When the sand was cleared from the object, it turned out to be diamonds, amethysts, and gold. A ring, clearly an old one. He can't prove it's from the Spanish treasure fleet that sank in 1715, but the evidence is mounting. Nearby, a Spanish silver coin, clearly from the wreck. But uh, here we are. Let's see what we can find today. We went a little bit down on Melbourne Beach and only found some coins, a bottle cap, and a fishing lure. But we're going to do our best to try and find more treasure. So come with us as we see what we can find. Metal detector. Got something. Just try this, right? Switch. Is it a bottle cap? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Switch, switch. I want to do it. Alright. Try. Try it. Yeah. I think you got it. Uh, there we go. No. No. That's it? Whoa. That little junkie. That's better than nothing. I mean, I knew it was a bottle cap because it said it on here. Yeah. That's fine. One fine down here at the Ponce de Leon. Ponce de Leon. There's no rubies, but... Not yet. We're still working our way to the treasure. Should we just take this one? Yeah. Right? Alright, we wanted to test our luck at a few different beaches on the way, but we're thinking about just V-lining the Vero to the real treasure. So, off we go. We jump on A1A right here. There we go. Here's the boy right here. See, look, there's treasure. They even have pictures of what it looks like. Oh, man. This is littered with treasure. Yeah, someone pooped over here. We're like by Vera Beach, I guess. As close as we could really get. And we're gonna try here. See if we can find some treasure. Whoa! Go on the trip. That would have been so good. I might leave my sandals here. 
All right, we are somewhere along Indian River County Beach. We parked at a public beach access and now we're just cruising along, seeing if we can get any hits. Realizing that there's not gonna be a lot of coins and trash hits from people leaving stuff behind because hardly anyone goes to the beach down here. But that means every hit could be some pirate treasure. So we're on it. Gonna try and give it our best go here. See if we can find anything. It was a junk hit, right? Maybe not. What do you say? Just one hit. Just one hit. Please. Just one piece of treasure. Just one piece of Spanish treasure, right? Just one piece of treasure. That's a, nah, not a good hit. That's a so I'm learning this detector gives false hits, but you can tell the difference. Obviously, it's pretty easy, but you just want every hit to be a real hit because there's so few pieces of metal actually on these beaches down here that, you know, any hit could be that one, that one dream. She's finding cool stones though and shells down here. It's a really cool beach. something. Alas, I can't find any treasure, but I did find this nice comb. To comb my curly locks. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Ew. Have fun with that that lice, that sea lice. This is a good comb. What do you mean? That is the creepiest comb. The fact that you're putting that in your hair is so crazy. A pirate's comb is a comb for me. <laughs> All right, we have two local connoisseurs down here. Metal detecting. Trying to take our treasure! Look at them! They actually probably find treasure, unlike me. They're trying to take it, babe. You gotta uh, go get them. They're on it. They though. look legit, though. Well, they have, they have good scoops so they don't have to bend down when they find a hit. And do they have headphones on? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but you gotta wear headphones if you want to be serious about it. So are you not serious? Uh, no, I haven't taken the, the leap to, <laughs> to being legit hardcore yet. The Pelicane. Oh my God, I thought those people had a cat on the beach with them. It's a dog though, small dog. All right, we're back at the house. Unfortunately, we didn't find any pirate's treasure, but thinking about trying the yard that has never been detected ever. So it's possible we could find something cool in here. Thank <laughs> you. 
there it is. What is it? What is this? What is this? Oh, what is it attached to? What is this thing? What is this thing? Was attached to something. All right, we found something really cool. It seemed like it was attached to something. The okay, not bad. I think it's a tea bag. What is this thing? Armstrong Roses, hybrid tea, John F. Kennedy. I don't know what it is. Got a hit on something here too. Wow, what is it this? Yeah, was it this? I think it was that. So it's a piece of the fence. Damn, there's a lot in this yard. Oh. Are you kidding me? It's another one of these. Double delight. Are these plant? Yeah, these are plants. Double Delight, U.S. plant patent number. Wow. So they're for plants. I guess that were planted in the yard at one point. So this yard is just full of metal. Uh, what is it? This is a lot of these, dude. There's like a... Like they're rose plants. Uh, badges for like roses. Uh, this is the third one I found. Pretty cool, right? I think that's what they're for. Rose plants. So is there a rose garden back right here? There was. Whoa, 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 something crazy just dropped on my bed. All right, within like five minutes, we uh, found some pretty cool stuff. I just found some cool stuff in the yard. A bunch of little rose tags from, I'm not sure how old, but we're really trying to attempt the beach and find stuff on the beach. So we're heading back. There could be, we don't even know what could be in the yard though. I'm probably gonna hit it another day and just test it out. But we're going to another public beach, the other way from where we were. All right, this is gonna be our last attempt for today. There's a squirrel. Buddy the squirrel. Last attempt to find something. Some treasures here. We're at this public beach access in Melbourne Beach. Well, we're in Indian Harbor Beach actually, I think. Little smiley face guy. Look at that. That's freaking pretty cool.
little pelicanas. Look at them glide around. And then go back. Fine. They're just cruising, dude. Just to the must feed them right there. They're just cruising. If this isn't a hit, I don't know what is. Here, switch. Still there. Still there. You got it. Alright, so we figured that out. When we go closer to the water, Something over there is just making it go off. Coin. Nice. Penny. Penny. Scores. Penny. Shall we try a little more? Just got sand in my eye. Hold up. Got a hit? Teamwork. Teamwork. Got Sammy J. What'd she get? What'd I get? What'd you get? Make it a quarter, baby. Make it a quarter. Make it a ring. Make it a ring. What? Nah. Aww. It's a penny. Yeah, you got me excited. What? I didn't know what it was until I said it. It's a penny. Right. It's like really old though. Like a weird deteriorating. Alright, let's get this. Here, like right here. Got it. <laughs> Sounds like it maybe, right? Yeah. Hit something, right? Yeah, I, I heard it kind of oh. Maybe not. Nah, I didn't get it. Did he hear something? Keep going, I don't know. Is it, where is it? After all that abuse, it was this. Just a tap. Alright. So, we tried really, really, really hard. But today is... We're done searching today. Just about. And we're going to go back home. We found... A bunch of change, a fishing weight, a bunch of stuff in the yard, and some soda taps, and that's it. But we tried, and we will be back. So this is our first attempt at metal detecting the Treasure Coast. Stay tuned for part two. Whew, tiring. Oh yeah. Looking for the claims. This is a workout for sure. For sure.